Hey everybody, it's Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Last time we did a while loop, which said while a test was true, do the commands between the do and the done. Today we're going to go over the until loop, which is just the opposite. It says until this test is true, do the commands between the do and the done. In other words, the only way to go inside of the do to done portion is if, is if this test is false. Basically, the until loop is the opposite of the while loop. While loop runs a test. If the test is true, then the code inside of the do to done is repeatedly executed until the test is false. The until loop runs the block of code repeatedly until the test is true. You can think of a while test as the same of, same as, until opposite test. And you can think of a while not test as the same as an until test. Functionally, if you put in while test or if you put in while not test, those are functionally the same. And so also for while not test is functionally the same as until test. The one thing I do want to point out here is you do need a space between the not and the test. Now the structure of the until loop is as follows. Until test do commands done. So I am actually going to go over the same exact example we did last time with the while loop. And that looked like this. It said while n was less than 6, do something. So as I said earlier, a while is the same as an until not. Therefore, we just have to substitute until not for the while. And if you don't remember last time, all we did was we took start out n at 0, and we said as long as it's less than 6, we're going to go inside of the do to done portion, and we're just going to cube it, and we're going to print the result, and then we're going to increase n by 1, and then we're going to go back up here and run the same test again. So let's take a look at the actual test. As you can see, I just printed a message that said until with a not, because that's our test right here, until not 6, excuse me, n is less than 6. So what we're actually testing for here is the opposite of that's what the not means, this test. Well, n is less than 6, so this test comes out true, and you take the opposite of it. Therefore, it comes out false, which means go inside of the do to done. It can be confusing. I understand. That's why sometimes it's better to use a while loop, and sometimes it's better to use an until loop. And that's what I wanted to point out there. So back at our example, we just cube all the values. And as you can see, when n was not less than 6, we broke out of the loop. And right here, the only thing I did was I said print, waiting, hit carriage return, and I put in a read. And like I said in one of the previous lessons, that's just to wait for the user. 
read statement is a very effective pausing mechanism. So let's take a look at what the next example is. It is using the until loop without an exclamation point, which is usually easier to understand. So we reset n back to zero because n is six once it leaves this loop right here. So we set it back to zero. And then what we're testing is this. Until n is greater than or equal to six, do the same thing. Go inside of the do to done, cube the variable, and print out the value, and then increase n by one. This one, in my mind, is far easier to understand than the previous example where you have the not. This just says until n is greater than or equal to 6, do all this stuff. And that's pretty clear in my mind. So sometimes if you have a while loop that has a not in it, sometimes it's just easier to use an until loop. And sometimes if you have an until loop with a not in it, just use a while. It might be easier for you to comprehend. I know it's easier for me to comprehend. So let's run it. And as you can see, we get the same exact results that we got with the first test, the first example.